Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna be mm. tooting and booting the looks of the queens ah. for their promo shots for oh. RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars <gasps> season. Three. All stars, yes, all stars. I'm very, very excited about this. I mean, uh, I mean, you might be a bigger fan, but I'm a pretty big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. And I'm not being paid to say that. I really do love the show. You do, you do. And okay. I'm, I, you know, I love the all stars because you know sometimes you just don't get enough of some of the girls, and you want to see them back. And some of them show up, and you're like, Fuck, I've had too much. Oh damn. The theme is gold. 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 Riches. Gold. Wealth. Power. Gold. 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 Royalty. In alphabetical order. First up, Aja. Aja. Fresh off of season nine. As far as we know, she's the only season nine queen to compete because we don't know who the 10th contestant is yet. Is there a 10th? Yeah. Oh my God, that's crazy. It's a surprise 10th. I wonder Wowzers. who it could be. Wow, I can't even take it right now. I can't even take the suspense. I can't wait for this season to start and to see what Aja does because Aja and I have become friends since uh, since her season and I think she's hilarious. I love Aja. Let's talk about her outfit here. Okay. All right, we're talking about outfits and we're talking about Aja and Aja has gone for this sort of like, I'm the queen of England. Yeah. Something, she's the queen of something. Um, it's, it's more princess. Ah, oh, princess. I see more princess, because the dress I think would be a little bigger, mm. maybe a bigger collar, and maybe not that hair. Okay. I really love this look, mm -hmm. except the hair. I do not like the hair with this. I wanted to say the same thing. I'm like, you know what? I get it. I get that it's a big trend now to have big wavy wigs. And whoever did this wig did a wonderful job at it. It is a perfect wig, but it's not the perfect wig for this outfit. No. You know, if you wanted to present as queen, maybe something a little bit more sleek where that the crown could show a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is a mashup of drag trends. The thing with the hair is all the colors in the hair are in the gown. And the yeah. gown's beautiful. She looks beautiful. Her makeup has come uh, leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. A lot of people's makeup has come leaps and bounds since season nine. Isn't that something when you see yourself on television for the first time and you get to like look at yourself as sort of having this out of body, out of body experience, it's really interesting because you do make all of those fine tuning and adjustments after your season. Yeah. And I you, certainly have. I definitely wear a lot more makeup. You go back and go, oh, all in all this, I'm gonna give it a two. I give it a two. I am going to give this a two, but it doesn't come very easily because I think that this, the trend today is to kind of make, to, to top each other in some ways, to mm -hmm. top each oh. other. Well, like to top one another, that uh, more is more. And, some, and most times I do agree, more can be more, but sometimes it might. Sometimes more is way too yeah. much. Yeah, you can get yourself to that like edgy, cool uh, experience without it having to be like all, everything on all at once. But overall, I think Aja looks beautiful. I love this gown. I love all this, the pieces separately. I do think, I don't know if they all go together all at once. She looks demure. Her face just looks very like, oh, Ugh. look where I'm at. Look what I'm doing. I'm an all-star bitch. I am a princess. Which is funny to me because her personality is not princess at all. No. But, and that's that, that's the contrast in this in this photograph and this image is the fact that Aja is no one's princess. Two. Yeah, I, I like two. it. This is this is a two. She looks beautiful. Ben de la Creme. Ben de la Creme. She's. Uh, I really enjoy Ben, but why does it always have to be the? Like it's always the mm. eyebrows up into her it's hairline. It's sort of like Valentina's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. I mean, I would have loved if she was, you know, maybe doing this, but just kind of not so dramatic. Mm. But we're not talking about the expression, we're talking about the dress. Yeah. But this gown is sickening. Uh, the the whole thing, the opera length gloves, mm -hmm. the gown, the pieces in the hair. I love it, all yeah. of it, toot. Yeah, it's an absolute toot. Ben knows how to dress herself. Like, she knows what works on the Ben de la Creme look and it's always, always put together, and this dress is great. I really love it. I love that, the, the bottom part especially, and I'm not one to love the, that mermaid tail, mm -hmm. but that is a gorgeous dress, and it looks fantastic on her. I give her a two. Next, we have Chuchi Devon. Chuchi Devon, and she is, what is she giving me? She kind of like gives me a little bit of Tina Turner in this. Like, it's kind Tina of, Turner, it's kind of 1920s. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but then you've got the huge like 1950s hair. It's mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not bad. It's not it's bad. Not, it's no. not like whoa. No, it's a gorgeous dress. And like you said, it's very Tina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can see the upgrade. Like she's really like gone another notch, another level, because I do remember Chi Chi Devane being a little She was bootable most She like, was very bootable, of her time yeah. There. And it, it's complete. I mean, this is a beautiful beaded gown. It's gold. Uh, yeah. And and what what does one expect from a Chi Chi Devane? You know, we don't expect her to come up with the most avant-garde or interesting, like, you know, like mind-blown looks. No. Where did this accent come from? I think it's from the beret. It's from the glasses. Um, <laughs> I will give this a two. I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it's, it a two as well. It's nice, mm -hmm. and I bet it's clean. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't smell like spaghetti and dishwater. Dish water. Next we have the lovely Kennedy Davenport. I love that last name. Davenport. <laughs> The thing that's throwing me off about this picture before we get to the garment is this looks like someone else's head hmm. on someone else's body. It oh. looks a little, her head looks really small, mm -hmm. which I have head envy because I have a very large head. Maybe that's what it is. That's what it is. But as I'm looking at this and the, like the jewelry and the garments, it's very regal. Mm -hmm. And I think it's beautiful, and I love the cutouts. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, love I got something to say about that. The Go little ahead. things that are popping out, it's not too much, mm -hmm. just enough. This is where there's that really weird gray area of saying, oh, there's, you go ahead and put one more ring on. Go ahead and put one more piece of jewelry wrapped around your head. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Agreed. And you were talking about the cutouts, which I find really interesting because it's a very strategic placement of a cutout. It gives you that illusion of like nude because it's on the sides of her mm -hmm. hips, but really that's her whole mattress in there. That's her yeah. hip pad. Just accentuating one small keyhole of mm -hmm. hip pad, which gives the illusion of actual hip. Yeah. So it's very smart. I love this. I think I think that Kennedy looks amazing. I love this long like braid. It reminds me of that one Beyonce meme where she's just like whoosh, and the braid just whips around her neck. Uh -huh. That's the braid. And everybody wants that braid. Everybody wants their hair that long. It's gorgeous. I think she looks very sleek. If I were to pick apart anything, I would think the braid could be a little fuller. There could be a little more hair in it. It could be mm -hmm. a little thicker. But bitch, that braid goes all the way to the mother for mm, her. I love it. I love it. I think she looks great. I think she looks like some sort of like, you know, goddess. Yeah. But definitely a uh, sun goddess. What is it? Something glittering and shiny and just ju just heavenly. Two. Two. Next we have Morgan McMichael. Morgan McMichael. Morgan McMichael. Now, mm. speaking of a queen who likes to put a lot on, mm. Morgan McMichaels, this bitch loves to wear everything. Give me, give me, give me more, more, more. Mm. And this is no exception. She said, oh, no, we're gonna, gold, gold leaf, gold jewelry, gold nails, gold this, gold that. Mm -hmm. I love this, I don't know if that's a piece that's tucked over the hair. Oh, that's actually, my favorite thing about this whole outfit, is in. that one here, that one ear piece hair thing. What is that? Is that part of the wig? It looks like a piece put on over it. It doesn't look like it's part of the hair. It looks like they took hair, made a piece, and then it's placed over, which mm. could have been. I think Morgan's makeup looks beautiful here. Uh-huh. I do like the added touch of the gold leaf around the hairline, because you know sometimes them yeah. HDs ain't forgiven, bitch. So HDs she said, let's forgiven. cover that. And uh. also, yeah, and that lace, just put some gold yeah. leaf on it. It's an old rule that I've always lived by. If you can't hide it, uh, throw some glitter all over it. Well, in this case, she gold leaf covers damage. a multitude of mm -hmm. sins. Gold leaf covers a multitude of sins. Mm -hmm. I love the shoulder pieces of this dress. I don't like the dress itself. Mm. And I don't know if it's the photo, the lighting. It looks like there needs to be more of the fringy, tinselly stuff on it. Mm. It looks like either there was enough fabric and it's stretched a lot, uh -huh. or there needs to be more added to it. I just wish it was more stuff. I do See, like the shape and I love the I love those boots. I I go the other way. I feel like I like the dress, but I don't really love the shoulders. I'm like, what is this? Lady Gaga poker face still? Aren't we done with that? Even she's moving. No, on. it's Mad Max. She's Beyond Thunderdome. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I, this is that's I what I get that. from I here. That. I see that. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I I see that. I see that. And so that kind of changes my mind a little bit about it, because it does, if you're gonna go for Mad Max and and the, my other complaint was that Pompadour, which I just don't love. I don't love the big like Mohawk Pompadour. I think it's like 
what is this? Are we still doing pussycat dolls looks? Like, you know, but now that you've put it all together for me, you've actually turned me around and actually made me actually really love this outfit. Just like the beat, I turned it around. You know, I actually really like this boot. It's, it could be considered a real strappy shoe or mm -hmm. it can be considered a holy boot. Mm. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. The bottom part of the dress, I kind of wish it almost was a full length gown. Or higher. Or a little bit higher. Yeah. But it's not, I, I can't not toot it. It's a toot. It's a toot. It's an absolute toot for me. Next we have milk. This is a toot. Yeah? Yes! Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, everyone knows that I man crush Monday on her all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I love milk, I think milk is just, but I really, I, it's just, it's weird. It's genius. And you know what, it's a play on the insults that people have given her, calling her the manliest queen ever. So she's like, well it, why not put on a muscle suit? People said that? Yeah, that's what they call her. Girl, honestly, I wish people would start to understand that guess what, we are men. Yeah. Every single drag queen that has been on Drag Race, with the, ex ex with the exception of a few, live their lives as men. Yeah. And milk is no exception. So, yeah. calm the f down. Yeah. It's actually a bit like, if you look at it up close, it's just this beautiful, it's beautifully done, this, this suit. Because it's not like, you would think it's like some weird like prosthetic thing, but it's an actual like cat suit that's been padded and painted. I love it. I think it's, it's ridiculous. It's gonna piss a lot of people off if not already. I'm sure people have seen it. I'm like, sure they the don't fuck? like it. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people hate it, but well, for me, I love and it. And th that's the thing with some people's drag. It, there's people who go, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Well, it's n if you don't get it, don't look. This was Milk's thing. It honestly looks like a drawing. When I first saw this, I thought it was a drawing. Yeah, you're like, could it be real? I, I don't love it. I like it. I, I do. I like it. It makes you feel uncomfortable, and that's what's so cool I, And I'm not it. uncomfortable. I feel just fine, bitch. How's your pussy feel? <laughs> is your pussy comfortable? It's wet. And the <laughs> shoes, the shoes are my favorite. I love the shoes. I love the shoe. Yeah, the shoe is like just at that ridiculous spike height. It's 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 fantastic. I love it. I love the whole look. I give it a two. Mm -hmm. two. Toot. Next we have Shandra. Sun goddess, Shangela. Shandra. That's a jujube uh, when she impersonates me, that's what she does. She says, Shangela. Okay, here's, here's the thing with this outfit. I need some of the stuff taken away because there's a lot of stuff, but uh, a of it's nice. a lot of stuff that doesn't really go together. That's the and problem. It's a lot I of have. nice things. It's a lot of nice things. See, they're, they're, that's, that's exactly it. There's a lot of nice things, like the wings and the feathers, very cool. The dress, that's probably me. It looks like it's made out of chain mail. Very, very cool and very trendy, very on point. The headdress, very cool. I would love to own that headdress or at least borrow it. Shangela, can I please borrow it soon? It's gorgeous. The shoes, don't love it. They look a little weak in the heel for me. <laughs> this looks like she's ready to go to Carnival. Mm -hmm. This looks like she's not stepping on to like, you know, say, hey, I'm the next all-star. This looks like, okay, bitch, we gotta go do a show, or I'm I'm gonna be on the stage at you know the Riviera. Those shoes to me made it look more cha cha dancer, mm -hmm. and I realize she is a dancer, an amazing dancer. But that shoe, bitch. You know what needs to go? And then to put her leg up and go, look at my shoe, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like bitch. There's so many statement pieces that she's wearing that maybe the shoes needed to be a statement as well to balance it all together for me. And I feel like the headdress can go into my bag so that I can wear it. No, but really, seriously, I think that's what, like I want Shangela. I would have lost the headdress. Yeah, I just want Shangela to have that big hair that really is her signature to go with the wings and the chain mail. And the shoe should change. So for me, this is no tea, no shade to Shangela or any of the creators of this costume, but it's a boot. Boot. Sorry. Next we have Thorgy Thor. I like most things Thorgy wears and I love you, most anything in gold, I love drapey, I love that. She looks this tall, and there's nothing wrong with being that tall. I and love she, that harness and I love that hair. But, but I, not with this dress. Mm -hmm. the, her hair reminds me of Wendy Ho. You know how Wendy likes to just park and stick a her, yeah. you know, big curly wig on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the dress, I, 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 I would have loved the harness off ah. of this dress. Huh. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't, I don't care, if, I, no, boop, I don't like it. Yeah, I, the harness is my favorite part. The harness and the But not with this dress. No, the dress, the dress is a little bit like, it's a little simple, especially for your uh, second introduction. You know, see, you're being I brought back. I, see, and with this, 
that gold dress with just platinum hair parted down the middle mm -hmm. and just beauty bitch. And Versace that, stuff. That would yeah. be very like, hey, I'm back, look. Fierce. Yeah. It's okay, it's like, oh, oh, oh. So I'm gonna give this a boot. Boot. Last but not least. Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel. First of all, if you're gonna come back, come back with a new body. She has been working out, yes. taking good care of herself. Trixie is one of those queens that is really taking her career seriously. Yeah. She's like, her I'm brand. Take, yep, I'm gonna take good care of myself. I'm gonna get the good wigs and the good outfits. And I love this outfit. I love a, I love that it's within theme because she's very much like that. Sort she's, of, the, she's the pop country queen. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Folk music, she's going mm -hmm. for like, there's a touch of Dolly Parton in there, which mm -hmm. I really, really love. And if you look closely at her heels, uh -huh. there's spurs on yes. them. So go with it. If you're gonna go sleek cowboy, go sleek cowboy and put a spur on your fucking pump. I love this look. I think it's, it's, it's very successful and she looks sexy. Sassy. Yeah, sassy, very yeah. sassy. Yeah, and uh, Trixie uh, gets a toot. Toot. Mm -hmm. Toot. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna ride a horse. Our top two of the week is Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel. Yes. Way to Trixie, go, bitch. Trixie, giving us cowgirl, giving us fish, giving us spurs on her heels, giving us cowgirl, giving us. Cowfish. 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 Okay. Trend, Trend alert! alert! Silver. Silver. And tune in to All Stars 3 this winter on VH1. Yeah.